Hi Plant Buddies, this is Christine from These Succulent Buddies and today we are unboxing some plant mail. So if you're anything like me, you know that unboxing a box of succulents is like Christmas. Um, I received this box from my best friend and Callie. Uh, she sends me a box about twice a year when she is cleaning up her garden and just trimming everything. So she, she sends me a lot of cuttings and the first one that we have unboxed here is a chrysula so let's move on to the next one oh she sent me a big one look at this um it's this is a type of cotyledon um pig's ears i think it's is common name but uh, I'll provide an ID later on in the video when I figure out exactly what it is. But look at, look at how big that is. And what is this? I forgot what this is called, but this is huge and the leaf sort of broke. I don't know if it broke in the mail or if it was from packing, but Wow, look at how big it is. That's beautiful, guys. And it just poked me. But I think it's some type of Gasteria. So it's an old one, definitely. Very mature Gasteria. And it's huge. What do we have here? Oh, she sent me a Chrysula. Common name is Ogre Ears, but look at that. Wow, it's got some sunburn, but that's okay. Look how nice that is. This will recover well in a few months. Really, really nice, right? Look at that. So, let's see what else. This is probably another... Oh! This is an Aloe Delta Dawn. Look, that's a big aloe it's almost it's almost as big as the one that I have planted in one of my pots nice sent me a lot of big plants this time into this box here this is the sedum salsa that she sent me it's she said that this was labeled as sedum salsa and it grows quickly Did it in the box um this is i forgot what it's called but it's a type of this is a type of ice plant um the last cutting that she sent me didn't survive because it was pretty small but hopefully she sent this one with some roots still intact so hopefully i can get this one to survive but i i really like this one and it has a really funny name <laughs> have a lot to unbox you guys oh she sent me a little baby of one of her echeverias that she has in her garden and I have to cut it because it rotted a little bit I think it stayed a bit moist inside the box I'm trying to remove some leaves that kind of died here cute 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 uh, oh no so those were jelly beans the ones that I unboxed earlier, these are the green jelly beans, I think. And this bigger one over here, this is the sedum salsa right here. See how much bigger it is than the regular jelly beans? Look at those leaves. Okay, so this is the regular jelly beans, and this right here is the sedum salsa. Ooh, I love it. I really like that one. And she said it goes really, it grows really, really fast and it propagates really really well so I'm going to save these leaves to try and propagate them just set them on top of soil and this is what is this oh this is this is an Ionium uh, I think it's an Ionium pinwheel and there's a baby oh three there's there's like five babies along with that one nice nice Oh, guys, these are, I believe, 
some big Semper Vivums. Oh, Semper Vivums do really well in the mail. I've never got Semper Vivums in the plant mail. I mean, um, in plant mail before. So, guys, if you ever want to ship Semper Vivums, they ship really, really well. Look at, look at, you can tell this is a very mature one just from how thick that stem is. And this is probably one of, this is probably one of its babies right here. But yeah, some provivums, guys. Wow, this is a big, this box has a lot in it. Um, this is another Aeonium. The, these, the pinwheels, guys, the Aeonium pinwheels did really, really well in the box. Look at that. I love this. Oh my God can't wait until it starts to branch out and have a bunch of babies. The reason why I like Ionium so much is they're such prolific succulents. They make a lot of babies once they're happy with the conditions that you give them. Oh, yay. She said she was going to send me some Imbricatas. This, guys, one of my favorite succulents that I am notorious at killing because they are the hardest to acclimate to um, the warm tropical weather that we have here where I live. Uh, this is an Echeveria imbricata and I, I really, really, this is one of my favorite succulents of all time. I don't care how common it is. I love this succulent place, Echeveria imbricata. And there's another really big one that she sent me over here. I don't know which one this one is. <gasps> oh my. This is a really this is the biggest Semper Vivum I've ever I've ever seen. Look at how huge this is. I mean she has them growing in the ground in her garden, so they just kind of grow wild in there. And I think she sent me the mother plant. It's huge. Look at this. Look at look at look at my hand. Look at this Aeonium. It's as big as, I mean Aeonium, sorry, Semper Vivum. It's as big as my hand. I wonder if this is the one that turns red. What is this? This is another Sedum Salsa, I think. Or it's really, really big jelly beans, but I think it's another Sedum Salsa. She sent me a lot, oh my god, I think she sent me like more than half her plant in her pot. We were FaceTiming. I was telling her exactly what I wanted from our garden. So she was cutting away as I asked her, Oh, I want that one. I want that one. And she really, really sent me everything. <laughs> Another Aeonium pinwheel. Look at that. Awesome. Oh my god, I love it. Else? This is... What is this? Another big Aeonium. I think this is another pinwheel. I'm hoping I have the ID right, but if I don't, I will tell you the right ID later on when I lay them all out. Because I, I like to give succulent IDs for those of you that uh, like to label your plants like I do. Actually, I don't label my plants. I just memorize what I have. But this is this is really big, guys. Really big head of Aeonium right here. Um, just put that there. This is um, this is another Aeonium. I think this may be a different kind. But look, look at that. It's really closed up. But it's another Aeonium that she sent me. I, I don't know what kind. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell her to take pictures of what she has in her garden so I can tell you how they look when they're really nice and healthy. So you don't have to wait too long to see how these will look. And then this is a rarer, um, this is a type of Chrysula, I think. This one right here is different from this one. You see that? How the leaves are a little bit wider and then they curl in while well, these just kind of look like that. So I, I have never had any luck finding this and I'm so thankful that she sent me a cutting of hers because the one that she has is not very big. It's still a little plant, but she sent me a cutting. I love this. It's this one. <gasps> Whoa. She sent me one of her big Echeveria Mercatus with babies. It already has six babies on this stem, guys. 
this is a really really nice Echeveria Imbricata thank you with five babies so she sent me how many did she send me she sent me two she sent me this Imbricata and this one with the babies she has she has a mother plant guys that are like maybe like this big like three times the size of this and it is beautiful and she had so much she, she had so much at one point but i think her dogs laid down on them <laughs> so she said she was supposed to send me more but you know she she tried to save as much as she can um this is another big aeonia look at that they're gonna need some cleaning up but overall they did pretty well in the mail um Aeoniums do, do bruise really easily in the mail. So if you guys do um, order, especially these. Okay. These are Aeonium Kiwis. Anytime that I have gotten Aeonium Kiwis in the mail, guys, they get bruised really, really easily. See all that? So if you get this, don't get too upset at your seller if you buy it from somebody. Aeoniums uh, bruise. Aeonium Kiwis bruise very very easily but I love I love love these because these can actually survive in the hot tropical weather outdoors as long as you keep them in the shade or under grow lights indoors but these are oh my god I love these Aeonium Kiwis um they they get really pink and like orange when stressed okay we have two more wow this box is filled with a lot of succulents oh another aeonium oh, mostly mostly jades and aeoniums look yay so there you go guys there's the big plant mail that i got and thank you thank you so much to my best friend that sent me this um these all of these just pretty much grow she grows these in her garden so she sends me a box like this about two to three times a year when she's cleaning up and trying to prune everyone or whenever she has extras or babies um, of the ones that she has growing or she just purchased like these jelly beans and uh, these really really big uh, she said they were called sedum salsa and uh, she has all these aeoniums just growing really really prolifically um, she has a bunch of these aeonium kiwis and I'm so thankful that she sent me some because the ones that I have are not doing too well um, I will try to provide IDs when I am potting them if I uh, if I find the right ones I want to make sure that I give you the right IDs um, but for sure uh, this is either an aloe delta dawn right here or aloe pink crush I do really easy succulent to care for perfect for beginners guys echeveria and bricotta is my favorite thank you thank you thank you so much to my best friend i will have a video of repotting these guys um sometime in the next weeks and then um as care tips go so when you guys have uh succulents like this that you receive in the mail okay the key is you just want to let them rest for about a day or two do not pot them right away or else you will lose more leaves than than you'd like um you know if they're not very dehydrated these guys are still in great condition they can last another two to three days without being in the soil and they will be totally fine so uh yeah if you guys have any questions please post your comments down below and i will gladly answer them for you again this is christine from these succulent buddies i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i will see you on the next one thank you